So last time you were on 2K TV, you said that the right plays at all. Behind the curtain here, final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the game. The bustling financial district here in Kitty. We're coming to you from Toronto. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Saturday afternoon presentation of NBA Basketball. Right here on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Toronto Raptors in this one as they go up against the Atlanta Hawks. This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sideline. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. Herter the two with Hunter at the three. Collins at power four with Lan at center. And it's Reddish in at the one. And the foul. Now here's Reddish. Guarded close. And he gets the bucket. Hey, Smitty, when a team underperforms early in the season, fans tend to go crazy. I mean, they just can't figure out why this is happening. But what are the players saying to each other on the bench when they're traveling in the locker room? You know, I think when you're having great communication, Kevin, with guys amongst each other, you're trying to get through it, you're working through it. Whether you get through it or not is fine. I think there's a sign that things are going wrong. Kevin, you hear about these player-only meetings. We've got 113 left in the first quarter. Just five to shoot. From outside the arc, good on the three-point shot. Rush shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. Keeps the defense guessing. They don't know who to try to take away. Outside Lowry. Oh, wide open looks for Gasol. Collins grabs the miss. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Now, here's Reddish. Now recovering. Collins, good. No matter where he is on the floor, Collins seems to invite contact. And the Raptors off to a slow start. Seven-point differential. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a groove. You know, I love what the coaches did tonight. They pushed the right buttons time and time again. And here is Siakam. From deep three-point range. And so it's Atlanta. The countries embrace the game. Yes, and, and with players like Gasol having so much success, I think it helps give those Latino and, and Spanish-speaking fans a connection to the NBA. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And what do you guys think about the Hawks here in this one? You can see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also keeping them out of sync. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Hawks, we've got Parker. Then Bree out there with Reddish. Then it's Jones. And it's Carter in at the three slot. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Well, Kevin, one of the reasons Toronto was able to win the NBA championship was the astronomical improvement from Pascal Siakam, who was recognized as the league's most improved player. It was the dream of Pascal's late father that he reached this level. His determination to make that reality has brought him a long way from home. Kevin? It has indeed, D.A. Great story, and thank you. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why, they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. This is it to Jones. Now, here's Reddish. Not a lot of room. Lowry against Jones. Rebound by the Raptors. And this matchup with the Hawks, it's their first meeting of the season. And they rolled 
battle for this team last season, beating them every time they faced off. Yeah, these two teams haven't changed that much, so I wouldn't be surprised if they run the table on them again. Long deep, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. What do you love about Surge on this end? Has the lead at the end of the quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Atlanta came ready to play. They staged a good old-fashioned ambush, going on an aggressive 9-0. And that... Fairly even first couple of quarters. The second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. As you got to like what Cam Reddish has done in this game so far. I guess you could say his performance transcends the stat sheet. Well, there are guys who worry about their numbers. He is not one of those guys, believe me. Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Lowry out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's on an OB in at the three spot. That's the five out there for the Raptors. You know, before coaches started running plays for him, this is where Siakam would get his points on the offensive glass. Pass to Collins. And he banks in the layup. Collins has got six points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And when he was drafted, there were questions, Smitty, about John Collins' best position. 6'10", what do you think? Better as a 4 or a 5? And you know what, Kevin? A lot of people called him a tweener. The way he's developed now, it's positional versatility. Whichever spot he plays, he's holding his own. Great touch on the 16-footer. Collins has got four points in the quarter. Nice, smooth stroke. John Collins has improved his confidence from mid-range. There's the pass to Siakam. There's 37 seconds left in the third. Doesn't go for him. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Here's Brett. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Gasol. Here's Siakam. And that one, good. He's got six. Strong finish. Siakam with great balance. Able to complete the play through contact. To the paint. Here's Collins. Can't connect. You can see on plays like that just how hard it can be to shake Larry off. The third quarter comes to a close. It's Atlanta up by six. We'll be back shortly, live. Atlanta leading by six. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. You've got Reddish. Hunter is out there with Parker. And it's Benbury in at the two guard. At the top of the key, Hunter. Pass to Fernando. There's the dish to Reddish. From the arc. And no good that time. And Toronto will come the other way. Passes it to Ananobi. Yep, that one goes in there. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Parker. Banked in off the glass. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. And it's Lowry penetrating. Good on the bucket. Nice job of seeing the play through by Kyle Lowry. Took the contact and still got it to fall. First personal foul, team's first.
real good. Lowry. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. The Hawks leading by three. Parker looking around. Over Lowry. Fernando, the pass to Hunter. Now, here's Reddish. Covered by Siakam. A shot by Reddish, no good. And here are the Raptors now. They trail by three. Lowry dishes to Ibaka. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Siakam. Good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. That is world class. Incredible shot with... Everything on the line coming through for his team. Against left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Cam Reddish. And, and he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. I was able to listen in to Lloyd Pierce talking with his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. A three to win it all. So the wing on the left. Inside. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. You know, he was considered to be just a piece of the puzzle when he was drafted. Campus now. And the Raptors call time here. They're down by four to play in the final quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, an uphill climb. They need everything to break their way. They also need to get the best shot you can as quickly as you can, and then immediately five. So it's the Hawks who come out on top. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had... All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Steve Smith.